Myth. All airports use identical runway markings worldwide. Truth, they follow the same global standards, but layouts vary depending on where you land. From a passenger window, every runway looks the same. White lines, numbers, stripes. It's easy to assume they're universal, like traffic lights. But zoom in and you'll find subtle but important differences. The truth is, yes, markings are based on ICAO rules, so a pilot flying from Tokyo to Toronto won't be lost. But countries adapt those rules. The United States, for example, often adds extra aiming point markers beyond the standard set you'd see in Europe. Those aiming points are the thick rectangular blocks painted just before the touchdown zone. In the United States, long runways may have two sets, helping pilots judge landings more precisely. In Europe, you'll usually only see the standard pair. Other markings vary too. Taxiway hold bars, shoulder stripes, even how thresholds are painted. The basics are harmonized, but regional tweaks reflect local rules, runway lengths and traffic needs. So while markings look familiar worldwide, they're not carbon copies. They're a blend of global standards and local adaptations, tailored to keep pilots safe and efficient, no matter the airport. So here's the debate. Should every runway look exactly the same worldwide, or do you think local tweaks actually help pilots?